Every trail begins with a plan. And at the heart of any good plan is the management of water. Water is one of the most powerful forces in nature. And when it flows unchecked along a trail, it can cause erosion and severe damage on and off the trail. That's why one of the most important considerations in trail development is understanding how water moves across the landscape. This is called watershed hydrology. We're dealing with water and soils um, predominantly when we're talking about uh, erosion problems on trails. So if we can manage the water off of the trail, um, it doesn't have that power to start to pull the soil particles apart. A fall line trail follows the steepest path down a hill. This is also the path water takes as it flows downhill. At first, this may seem like an easy route to build, but fall line trails are highly susceptible to erosion. When it rains, water rushes down the trail, picking up speed and volume as it goes. The result? Deep gullies, loose soil, and trail degradation that happens faster than you might think. The primary facet of trail design is to figure out where folks want to go and how to take them there, and to do that and understand where all the water sources are that you come across so that we can make the trail intersect with those water sources in a way that the water's not going to ever run down the trail. Figuring out whether it's a seep or a spring or a stream or a river, all these things are main facets in how we're going to get folks where they want to go without having that interference with water. As runoff gains velocity, it erodes tread material, carrying soil and rocks downhill and leaving a gully. As tread surface becomes looser, Users often leave the center of the tread to find more stable ground, widening the trail. This compounds the erosion problem by offering a wider path and increased volume of water flowing with erosive velocity. Because there is no route down the hill steeper than the fall line and the trail is gullied below the surrounding landscape, there is now no way to get water off the trail and solve the erosion problem. Not only is this challenging for trail users, the eroded sediments are commonly deposited at a low point on the trail seen as a mud hole or sand pit, or sometimes downhill of the trail in sensitive environments, such as wetlands and streams with the potential to adversely affect plants, animals, habitats, and water quality. So, how do we prevent these problems? By developing trails that are sustainable, that don't channel water down the trail or disrupt the natural hydrology, a contour trail runs across the slope, not down it, this alignment of the trail allows water to flow gently across the trail surface without increasing in velocity or volume, dispersing it across the hillside. This is commonly referred to as sheet flow. Pretty much traversing across the hillside, climbing ever so slightly, descending ever so slightly. And we'll notice a couple of things. First off, we're across the hillside. We're not going straight down it. We're not going straight up it we're more or less traversing across it. And what that allows to happen is when water falls, when it rains, when snow melts, and water starts to trickle down sheet flow across the hillside, it continues across the hillside, across what we call the back slope, and across some outsloped tread, and continues straight on down the hill. So we haven't channelized that water, we haven't redirected it, we've maintained the natural hydrology. We've also not allowed water to concentrate and run on the trail, scouring loose soil or, or causing ruts and erosion. This begins during the planning process, where trail professionals study topographic maps, examining landscape contours and hydrologic patterns. This is continued in the field where trail alignments are designed to take into account smaller hydrologic features that are difficult to identify on a map. On this map, you can see the high points and low points and hydrologic patterns. These are the contour lines, and the steeper the landscape, the closer the contour lines. This is a fall line trail. It is directly perpendicular to the contour lines. This is a contour trail the trail gently climbs and falls across the contour lines. Contour trails also serve a visitor management objective. The trails can help to be a tool to keep visitors where we want them. So when we have 
some protrusions or obstacles, it helps to encourage visitors to stay on the trail, not cross over it because there's an obstacle in the way. Similarly, on the lower edge, the outside edge of the trail, which we also call the critical edge, that drop off on a steeper hillside helps to encourage users to stay on the trail because it's a more uh, enjoyable experience and path of least resistance versus having to go down something steeply. Good trails are more than an experience or a destination. It's about designing trails that manage water effectively, protecting both their integrity and the surrounding environment. A trail professional's goal is to create sustainable trails that last for generations.